Welcome to Mel's Mountain Garage. You're returning, thanks for coming back. Your first time here, I hope you liked the video. This time around, I'm gonna replace the tie rod ends on a club car golf cart. Now, I do have a video of doing a whole front suspension, but some of these guys might just have bad tie rods, wanna know how to do it. Super easy, super quick, follow me along. Let's get it done. So here's what we're working on. A 2002 Club Car Carryall Turf 2. Though all the suspension in the front's the same from like, I don't know, 94 to who the heck knows. Present possibly. I do know at least all the way up into the 2000s. You can totally do this in your driveway with a floor jack, some jack stands, safety last, right? But I have it on a lift. It makes it a lot easier, and you're definitely going to be able to see what is going on. Now this thing's got some wandering steering, and you'll see another video. I just rebuilt the engine in it, and while I had it on a lift, I was going to lube it up, and I come to see this insane amount of slop. Now our kingpins do have a little bit of slop. And you can see that right there. Though I don't have those bushings, so this video is just gonna be about the tie rods. And what I'm attempting to point out is this tie rod right here. This guy's a little bit loose right here. This tie rod here attached to this bar goes to the other spindle and this tie rod this upper one comes from the steering rack first things first let's get the wheels off all right one of the easiest ways to do this is one at a time and I say that because we can kind of keep the alignment straight and not go too far off what was stock. Just like you would a vehicle if you've ever done them on a vehicle, though. Golf carts are smaller. Pull your cotta pin out. You guys can flame me in the comments about not using impact sockets. But honestly, these ain't hard. After I get the castellated nut off, you try and loosen the jam nut in place, but only just. So this way here you can get a good count on how many threads you need to thread a new tie rod. In. After you get said tie rod loose, get the spindle a couple wax. We got ten turns. Mark the amount of turns you have somewhere. Get your new guy. With your replacement tie rod, these I got from <clears throat> eBay, I want to say. I'll put a link in the description below. And we said ten. And I'll line that one up, and I'm here to tell you that doesn't go good for me. Holy smokes. So there's a little uh, little lesson. Ensure your tie rods have the same length shaft before you put them together. You can see these are clearly different. So we'll with my icrometer, it says we're pretty close.
off to the next side. Passenger side isn't a whole lot different. Cotter pins, but it also has the <clears throat> steering rack attached to it, which we may want to pay a little bit of attention to, but honestly, once it's on the ground, we can center the wheel and get the steering straight. I'll show you how I do that. Get it just loose. I do have a tool for this. Don't necessary. Here you can see all the slot. Check my other videos for how to change the kingpins on these spindles. For now, this is what we're doing. They are installed. I must admit that I'm not entirely happy with the Chinesium of these considering the hole for the cotter pin is lower than the slots in the castellated nut. So if this were a vehicle, I would drill a new hole with the steering wheel center. We don't look terribly far off as far as the alignment goes. Pop it full of your favorite grease. Do your spindles. The play we have left now is our kingpin play. If I could get this up. So you can see the steering wheel through the windshield. Just a little motion moves the steering wheel, which is what we want. All right, well that's it. Short and sweet, three tie rods, super simple to do. I got another video on my channel on how to do the kingpin bushings and the tie rods and align the front ends. Check it out, there's tags up here somewhere, hit some of the playlists. I'll have the part numbers for the tie rods that I use in the description below. They're from China, so you know, the studs were longer, the cotter pins were a little bit lower than I would have liked, but they work, and they work for what we use this golf cart for. I appreciate you checking out the channel, like the video, leave me some comments, hit the subscribe, hit some of the playlists. Till next time, see ya.